Hello Star Wars fans and collectors, it's me, Jenna Master 98 back again with another Star Wars figure review. In today's Star Wars figure review, we're going to be taking a look now at something I don't usually review on this channel, but I've received this figure as a gift from a fellow subscriber and a fellow friend on my YouTube channel. And his name is Alan, also known as Oak99. And um, I received it as a gift the other day in the mail I thought it's about time to review this figure and to say thank you for Anon for sending this figure out as a gift and as part of a review I've also got a note that I will also be reading uh, whilst filming this review as well and uh, I would just like to say a massive thank you Anon for allowing this figure obviously to be part of my styles collection and able to review it on the channel so thank you very much for your generosity and uh, hopefully sometime in the future we can meet up at a future Comic Con event or hopefully a future Star Wars convention so uh, yet again thanks very much for the gift mate and um, let's dive into this review so the character we're going to take a look at today is a character that appears in Star Wars Rebels one of the main characters in Star Wars Rebels and it's this fella it is Ezra Bridger from the Star Wars Rebels TV show. Now this is the Black Series 6 inch version of Ezra Bridger. Like I said, I don't usually collect Black Series figures. But I have to say I do like this version of Ezra. I think they smash the articulation and the overall detail of an animated character and obviously portrayed it as a 6 inch black series figure. My only nitpick of this figure is the small two scars that Ezra picks up from his duel with the Inquisitor in the season finale of Star Wars Rebel Season 1. I wish they even included that on his face but apart from that I think this figure is nicely done and yet again thanks to Alan for allowing me to review this and have this in my Star Wars collection. So that's Ezra Bridger. We'll take a look at him in a few moments, but first we will take a look at the brand new Black Series 6 inch packaging that comes with this figure. As you see, this is the packaging for the 6 inch figures. You've obviously got Star Wars, the Black Series logo at the very top. At the side, you've got some artwork of Ezra in action, and obviously, if you get the rest of the figures in the wave, it obviously meets up and makes a picture. So you've got a nice shade of grey and purple. You've obviously got the name and obviously where the figure is at the bottom. Some legal stuff and some more colours at the side. Turn it round, you've obviously got another image of Ezra in action. The Styles of Black Series logo again. A brief description in multiple languages and obviously the legal stuff at the very bottom and you've obviously got the bit at the top where obviously it stands on the peg and you can open it and some more legal stuff there so I'll just read out the description Star Wars The Black Series Ezra Bridger with his introduction to the crew of the Ghost a small band of rebels fighting back against the Empire Ezra comes to believe that he can help change the galaxy for the better So that's the packaging for Ezra, really nice shade of purple to indicate it's a figure from Rebels. So that's the packaging. Before we dive into the review, I'll just read the note that Alan has sent me. So that's the note, handwritten. He's mentioned, Dear Jack, I was at the comic book store the other day and saw this figure. Seeing as I've been wanting to send you something back for a while now, I thought this would make a fine addition to your awesome collection. Hope you enjoy this figure and hope to see you again soon in the flesh in a future convention perhaps. Till then, take care of yourself and may the force be with you. Your friend, Alan Coffino. That's the note. I'll be keeping that. And yet again, Thank you very much, Alan, for sending this figure to my collection and obviously me reviewing it as well for the channel. So thanks very much, mate. Appreciate that. Really nice gesture. So, on to the figure. 
So this is Ezra Bridger, obviously from Star Wars Rebels. We'll take a look at the articulation and accessories. So the accessories wise, he does come with the helmet he picks up in Star Wars Rebels. Obviously it's an Imperial helmet that he customises. I just removed the helmet. You've obviously got the facial sculpt of a young Ezra Bridger underneath. I'll just show you the detail of the helmet. As you see, obviously it's an Imperial helmet that Ezra has customised. Obviously you've got the front bit with some of the markings at the back. A slight smudge of paint there, but it's not too bad because obviously it is a helmet, it's going to be battle worn after a while. So the helmet is sculpted well. And obviously if you get your Ezra Bridger figure, it fits the head really well. And you can remove it as well. So let's zoom in of the helmet. The other accessory is obviously the blue lightsaber that he, that he constructs and wields in the series. Yet yeah, again, I'll just give you a zoom in on that. And obviously the difference about this saber is obviously it's a blaster pistol as well, which is quite unique and very different in the Star Wars universe. Never something we've really seen before, but obviously I thought it was a nice touch from Star Wars. Obviously you've got the nice blue blade, and obviously that can be removed from the peg. And you can obviously have this as a blaster pistol, but obviously it looks better like that when he's wielding it. So a nice shade of blue. The overall detail on the hilt as well is nicely done. Nice shade of silver and other colours. So it's nicely done. Articulation wise, it's packed to the brim. It does come with a bowl joint at the head. Swivels in the shoulders, elbows and in the wrists. Torso is movable. Hinges at the hips, movements in the knees and in the ankles as well. Obviously you've got a little joint there that moves as well. Obviously as I said, the main accessories is obviously the helmet and the sculpted sabre. Obviously you've got the sculpted jacket as well that he accompanies himself with. And obviously some stuff on the belts, a few gadgets stored away. And obviously he's got them things on his legs, that's a protective knee plates as well. Give you a zoom in on the overall look. As I said, it's very cool that uh, animation is obviously getting better and better over the years, but obviously with the uh, lightness to the face of Ezra Bridger, is nicely done. As I said, it would be nice to have seen a facial scar on the side of his head, where obviously he jeweled the Inquisitor when they had to rescue Kanan over the planet Mustafar when he got captured on La Fol. The sculpted face is really nicely done. It's very likeness to the actor Taylor Gray who portrays Ezra in the series. Moving on, like I said, the sculpted jacket, nicely done. <coughs> Excuse me. So you've got some nice markings there and obviously at the back you've obviously got another marking that we know from Ezra the sculpted belt with its gadgets nicely done just remove the saber up so you can see that then moving down to the knee pads and the feet sort of like a very x-wing looking colour outfit that Ezra uses and wears in the series Obviously you've got the green gloves with his fingers sipping through. And obviously the creme de la creme is obviously the wielding lightsaber that he uses. Obviously the season finale of season two, his lightsaber does get destroyed and we do eventually see him use a green lightsaber in season three and season four. So hopefully down the line they can do another updated version of the ghost crew. And likewise, they can hopefully release some uh, vintage collection figures because it's uh, taken forever for certain figures to uh, be released these days, which is 
pretty poor on Hasbro's behalf. They need to pull the finger out and hopefully release more attractive stuff for collectors. But I will say one thing, even though I'm not a massive collector of the Black Series, the Black Series are absolutely killing it for figures. But the only downgrade about the figures that they're releasing, Black Series and Vintage Collection, it's a little bit too late. Like, so you see other stuff come out like DC and Marvel where they're obviously releasing figures within a couple of weeks or a couple of months before the film starts. And with Star Wars it's usually a year or two years, possibly three years after. And it's just like, yeah, we're grateful we got the figure, but it's just it's too late. It's like latest uh, figures to be announced, obviously from the Vintage Collection of Black Series. Obviously the price is going up and we've waited figures that we should have had at least two or three years ago. So they really need to... Uh, Pull the finger out Hasbro, but obviously that's another debate for another time. Could go on for hours. But apart from that, this has been Ezra Bridger from Star Wars Rebels Season 1. I hope you've enjoyed this review. And I'll be back with one more review to give you a look at, hopefully, when that eventually arrives in the mail. And yet again, I'd like to thank each and every one of you for watching. So thanks for watching. Please don't hesitate to hit that like button, be sure to obviously subscribe to the channel, follow me on Facebook and Instagram, and I will see you very, very soon. So until next time, thank you very much for watching everyone, take care, look after yourself, and as always, may the force be with you.